social and governance guidelines to be listed in the Nairobi Securities Exchange, that is the NSC, while confirming WPP scan group's entry into the club of, Ken of listed Kenyan companies. The NSC now says compliance with the released guidelines by the Boers about two years ago will ensure competitiveness while opening up businesses to more investors. This as the Insurance Regulatory Authority reports a 10.4% increase in gross written premiums. Details of these and others in our business news roundup. November 2021, the NSE in partnership with the Global Reporting Initiative released guidelines for listed companies to follow in managing ESG issues in a bid to have qualitative guidelines for listings. The Securities Exchange says the compliance to such guidelines is pushing up investor interest and failure of adherence could have listed companies facing dire consequences. When it comes to taxes, for example, we are very clear that we have to be tax compliant in every single sense. When it comes to every other compliance, ethics, for example, all employees in this organization complete an ethics and compliance training and they have to complete it and confirm they understand it. And we run through the organization training in terms of what is ethics, what is compliance, what does it mean and what does it look like in your day-to-day -to -day work. Meanwhile, insurance industry gross written premium stood at 100 billion Kenyan shillings as at the end of the second quarter of 2023, representing an increase of 10.4 percent from 163 billion Kenyan shillings at the same time last year. Long-term insurance business premiums amounted to 74.89 billion shillings, accounting for 41.6 percent. Finally, Equity Bank Kenya has been recognized as the top global performer by the World Bank for 2023 for its financial climate reporting. Equity Bank reported the highest number of transactions for climate-related financing among the 258 participating financial institutions globally. Hibak Said for TV 47. Thank you, Hibak, for that.